This book is being read with permission by Scholastic. The Biggest Best Snowman by Marguerite Coiler and illustrated by Will Helen Brand. We're gonna flip through and we're gonna look at the illustrations so that we can see what the so we can figure out what the book may be about before we start reading it. So we're gonna slowly go through each of the pictures. We're just gonna flip through them before we read. Now we look through the illustrations, you guys can make observations about what you think the book is about. Now let's begin. The Biggest Best Snowman by Marguerite Kuehler and illustrated by Will Helen Brand. Little, little Neil lived with Big Mama, Big Sarah, and Big Lizzie in a big house in a big snowy woods. Big Mama, Big Sarah, and Big Lizzie had big blustery voices. They had big talky, talky friends. They had big loud parties. When little Neil asked, can I help? Big Mama, Big Sarah, and Big Lizzie shook their heads. No, you can't. They said, you are too small. Yes, I can, said little Neil. And no, I'm not. No, you can't, they said, and yes, you are. So little Neil would go into the big snowy woods. She would sit and watch the snow fall from the sky. She would walk under the bare branch trees. She would play with her friends, reindeer, hare, and bear cub. Bear cub. One day, bear cub said to little Neil, can you show us how to make a snowman? No, I can't, said little Neil. I'm too small. Yeah, you, yes, you can, said the animals, and no, you're not. But I'm so small, said little Neil, my family won't let me do anything. I could never make a snowman. How do you know unless you try, asked Bear Cub. We'll help you, little Neil said. Sighed, well, maybe, she said. Little Nell got down on her knees. She carefully patted and matted and and patted and the snow into a tiny ball. She rolled it and rolled it and rolled it into reindeer. Reindeer nudged it and nudged it and nudged it to hair. Hair kicked it and kicked it and kicked it to bear cub. And bear cub rolled it and rolled it and rolled it until it stopped. Thud by the edge of a big icy pond. Now what? asked Reindeer. The snowman needs a middle, said Little Nell. How do we do that? asked Hare. Little Nell bit her lip. She got down on her knees. She carefully patted and matted and batted another tiny snowball. She rolled it and rolled it to Reindeer. Reindeer nudged it and nudged it to Hare. Hare kicked it and kicked it to Bear Cub. Bear Cub rolled in and rolled in until thud, it came to a stop. He pushed it on top of the other snowball. Now what? he asked. It needs a head, cried Little Nell. She patted and matted and batted another tiny snowball. Then she rolled it to Reindeer. Reindeer nudged it to Hare, and Hare kicked it to Bear Cub. Bear Cub stuck it on top of the other two snowballs. Oh, 
Lil Nell and the animals stood back and looked at their snowman. Something's missing, said Air. The face, said Lil Nell. How do we do that? asked the animals. I think we'll need, need help, said Lil Nell. She whistled for the birds to come. Crow, Cardinal, and Sparrow flew down from the trees. Could you make a face for our snowman? He asked, she asked. Crow fetched two pieces of bark for the eyes. Cardinal found an old pink sock for the nose, and Sparrow brought raisins for the mouth. Little Nell handed her green scarf to the birds. They wound it and wound it and wound it around the snowman's neck. Then they added two sticks for arms. The snowman was finally finished. Little Nell and the animals gazed up at their creation. Wow, said the animals. Wow, said Little Nell. It was almost lunchtime. Little Nell said goodbye to her friends. She walked home through the big snowy woods. Big Mama, Big Sarah, and Big Lizzie were waiting for her. Where have you been? They asked in their big, blustery voices. I was building a great big snowman, asked the little, answered Little Nell. How could someone as little as you build a great big snowman? Asked Big Lizzie. Come and see, said Little Nell. Uh, so Big Mama, Big Sarah, and Big Lizzie followed Little Nell through through the big snowy woods to the snowman. As they looked up, their mouths dropped open and their arms dropped to their side. Wow, they said, you built that? Yes, I did, said Little Nell, with the help of my friends. This is the biggest, best snowman that ever was, said Big Mama. Yes, it is, said Little Nell, a huge smile on her face. Will you come help us make a big yummy lunch? Asked Big Sarah. No, she can't, said Big Lizzie. She's still too small. Yes, I can, said Little Nell, and no, I'm not. Yes, you can, said Big Mama, and yes, you will. Big Mama gave Little Nell a big sloppy kiss. Smooch! Big Sarah gave Little Nell a big squeezy hug. Ooch! Big Lizzie stuck her big nose in the air. Hmm. Little Nell's friends lifted her to the top of the snowman. Hooray! So after reading that book, what lessons can you learn from that? What did Little Nell have to prove to her family? about building a snowman, about doing something that she wanted to do and not be told that she was too small or not able to do it. And then what did we learn about the friends helping her? Was that teamwork too? There's a lot of things you can learn from this book, like teamwork and putting your mind to something and finishing it without worrying about anybody else's other opinions. So talk amongst your friends, make observations, and share your opinions with your classmates, your teachers, and your friends.